And my stepdad was the most wonderful dad. Like I call him my dad. I don't call him my stepdad because he raised me. You know, is so he still with us? No, he passed away like five years ago. Oh, how hard was that? That was tough because he was such. He was the first person to encourage me to do acting because really? my mom was very traditional. Was wonderful in the traditional Mexican mother sense, where she's like, you have to be, a, you know, abogado or a doctor, like a lawyer or a doctor. And I was like, why are those always the two professions? Like, it's just like, <laughs> why are the hardest professions yeah, the ones that you choose? Yeah, to choose. It's I think because she wants, you know, she sacrificed a lot to, you know, come to this country and and for her offspring to choose. And I want to be an actor. And it's like, well, you know, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. not the most stable. Because it isn't. This, you Did know, you feel a responsibility almost to her to to pursue those things? No, not in a way. Because I've always been stubborn. And I was always like, when she would tell me, like, you know, she never said I couldn't do it. She just discouraged me to do it. She said, because uh, when I fell in love with acting was I saw Annie for the first time on television. Yeah, I read that. Yeah. Yeah. And I was watching this. I thought it was a movie or a TV show. I didn't know it was a movie. So we didn't go to the movie theaters. That was rich people did that. Like it was a movie. Wow. So you were really poor. We were really poor. Yeah. And I was like, I thought this was a new TV show during my Christmas break. So I couldn't understand why the episodes were so back to back. <laughs> and they're just cohesive. Yeah. They're like, wow, they're this is linear. really well edited. <laughs> the commercial breaks are seamless. Like there's a commercial break and it comes back where I picked up. I was like, this is good. That's good writing. Wow. <laughs> this is really good fucking writing. And um, I told my mom, I fell in love with it because these kids were poor dancing and singing. And I was like, oh my gosh, mom, I want to be that when I grow up. I want to be an orphan. <laughs> And she looked at me weird. And she was like, ¿Estás loco? And she's like, Are you crazy? And I was like, Well, I want to be an orphan. And she was like, No, son actores, they're actors. I was like, oh, Actor. And so. You meant it. I want to be an actor. I don't yeah, want to be an, an orphan. orphan. I don't want your dad <laughs> yeah. to leave me. <laughs> and literally, I was just like, So I told her, Well, how do I become an actor? And she said, That's for rich kids. And I was like, You got to be rich to play poor on television. <laughs> Makes no sense. <laughs> and then she goes, No, I mean, they, they take acting classes, dancing, and voice, and all that. And we don't have money for that. And I was like, oh. so I was kind of discouraged then, but she saw it in my face. And she said, I didn't say you couldn't do it. I said that we can't pay for that. But if you find your way, Miko, you can do whatever you want. You can do whatever you What's want. What's that mean? If you find your own way. No, Miko. Miko, uh, Miko? my son. Like my it's son. A, oh, okay. It's like a, a, a nice way of saying Truman Dearman, like, like son. Like son. Um, you can do whatever you want. And I said, okay, fine. Because I'm six years old and I know what to do with my life. Uh, <laughs> yeah. And we were walking home from school one day and I found out that at the local community center, they're doing like an improv class. And it was like twelve dollars and fifty cents. And how old are you? This is six. You're like six, six years yeah. old. And the, my fellow thespian at school, because we would reenact the Disney Channel thing with the wand. Right. We'd be like, "Hi, I'm Harvey Keen. You're watching Disney Channel." <laughs> and mine's would never look good. <laughs> like I think you can edit this and maybe it gets whatever I'm drawing because oh, it does boy. not look like anything. Uh, so we would practice that, and we want we thought if we got on Disney Channel, you could be an actor. So that was our ticket in. So we're like, we're gonna be on Disney Channel. We just have to take acting classes. And then she found out there was an acting class at a local community center. It was twelve dollars fifty cents for improv class. So two dollars and fifty cents. Twelve dollars. Twelve dollars. Twelve dollars fifty cents. Right. And I was just like, I went to my mom, and I was like, Can I have the money? She's like, No. I was like, We have the money for that. And I was like, oh. She went to her parents, and they gave her twenty. And I was like, So it started teaching me like the gap of like you know. Uh, generational wealth where it was like my mom was struggling just to keep us you know alive and how lucky it was that my friend could go to her parents you know who uh were already paid off with their mortgage already you know what i mean or like whatever uh, had a well education uh degree job whatnot and so i was like i don't understand the difference here and so i was like i had to find another way i have to get that money 